<laughs> you see in front there? La! <laughs> That's why I'm so good at this job. Okay, just sit still. I'm going to go backwards. Sorry, everybody. I'm going to claim the sun was in my eyes there. <laughs> There's sometimes nothing you can say when you've been a complete and utter idiot. Here you are. Isn't that wonderful? She's so close. Now, what's interesting here, Jamie said the other day, I don't know if it was in our one of rehearsals or if it was in an actual show, but do you remember she was talking about amber eyes and she said, you know, the thing about amber eyes is that it's not that unusual for a lion to have amber eyes. And here, she is borne out completely. You can see there that her eyes are indeed amber. Now she's very excited. She's obviously thinking about stalking these buffalo. This is very special. I don't know if the buffalo have seen them. I'm going to say no. There's a, one male behind here and another two females in here somewhere. They are, of course, the Salala Pride. So we might have a bit of action on here, everybody. Oof, that's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? What a shot. Now, uh, just looking behind me, the buffalo are about whew, 30 meters, no, 50 meters, so 150 feet or so. We'll just keep an eye on her. The male has not moved. He's still lying. He's the young male of the Solala Pride. Here she goes. Oh, this is incredible. All right, everyone, I'm going to, we have to, we can't move right now. So if she goes for it, you're going to lose sight. This is unbelievable. She's hiding in the cover of a fallen knobthorn tree. There's a buffalo on the road. You can't see her, probably 60 meters behind us, 180 feet or so. The male can see her moving. Now she's using us as well. She's seen the buffalo turn around. So what she's doing is making a little bit of a move here. This is a live buffalo hunt. I'm going to move slightly forward and around. Rian, sit down. Sorry, everyone, you're going to lose sight of her quickly. I just want to get out of her way. And we'll try and get you a view of both species. <clears throat> Watch the aerial, Arian. Watch the aerial. All right. Now, there she is. She's right there. And now we wait and see what the buffalo do. Now, Lindsay, you say that... You, so, you say, Lindsay, that we know that lions use the wind in their favor. Do we think that they use the sun as well? Now, I'm going to address the second part of that question first. Do I think that they're using the sun, in other words, <clears throat> coming in with the sun into the buffalo's eyes? I don't. And you know, I was doing some research on that wind and lion uh, using the wind direction thing. It seems to be largely a fallacy. 
and you will read about it in popular textbooks, but you will find very little actual documented scientific evidence that lions pay a concerted effort to hunt downwind. So that doesn't seem to be the case. And I don't think that this hunt, although it's perfectly poised for them because of the sun, I don't think they're using the sun on purpose. I'm afraid I just don't think that they have the cognitive uh, nous to do that, especially if they don't seem to use the wind. So you'll read in kind of popular field guides and things that lions will hunt downwind um, of their prey and sort of turn their noses into the wind when they start to hunt at night. I always thought that that was a little suspicious and then I did quite a lot of research on it and it would seem that it's by chance that they end up moving with the wind quite often. So there are the buffalo. And what she's waiting for now is for them to turn around again. So they turned towards us when we moved out of her way and then we've stopped and they've now turned back towards the water and she's now starting to look a little more interested in moving. So what they absolutely do is pick up on whether the animals are facing them or not. So as soon as that little one, in fact the same one, Johnny, that we, which is, a, she was a cow, but uh, we'll call her Jane, the same Janey that we saw on the road there, walked onto the road and then as she turned her back, that's when the lioness moved and got into cover behind the bush. And you can see she's perfectly hidden. Let's go back to her. But none of the rest of the pride are moving now. Now that's not unusual. What they will do is use the night to hunt. And so that's, I suspect, what they're going to wait for. They're infinitely patient. They will wait for darkness to fall before they make a proper move unless an opportunity presents itself. Also, there are only three lionesses here and one young male. Well, it's enough for them to kill a buffalo, especially a young one. Oh, and some of these buffalo are lying down. They have no idea about the lions. <laughs>